Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I've been working on my kitchen, so it's kind of in disarray. But listen, I want to say this. Um, when you start having dreams, and this is what I want to let you know about. I believe God is going to start drumming up the dreams again. You know how in, um, in Joel chapter 2 it says your sons and daughters shall prophesy and your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions or however it says it well i believe the dreams and visions are going to really start heightening in these last days because saints are going to need god to communicate instruction warning strategy all kind of things and there are also going to be dreams to, to show you as a thermometer shows a person what their temperature is. The dreams will be your thermometer to show you where your spirit realm is. What's going on with you? Are you hot? Are you cold? Are you lukewarm? Are you in? Are you out? Are you skating on thin ice? Where are you in your life? Like an assessment like an inventory now think about that and start paying attention to your dreams i'm going to share a few little minute details of dreams i've had in the past one time i had a dream about my ex-husband and with my ex-husband my best friend pat i've got five best friends <laughs> but anyway i'm blessed <laughs> uh, my best friend pat she and I uh, were in the dream. And in the dream, my ex-husband had smeared, he was buck naked, and he had smeared feces. I mean, well, he didn't smear it, but it was all over his body. Feces was smeared all over his body. And Pat and I had to try to clean him. He had no idea it was all over him. That's how bizarre the dream was. Now, well, we knew that was a real bad sign of where he was spiritually. See what I mean? So that is something to look out for. Here's another one. Uh, I dreamt about a friend of mine standing on the corner, and they were with some friends, and it was foggy and misty, and the, they were standing, leaning up against the light post, and the guys that were around them had a very icky atmosphere about them and the night was dark and it was eerie and and I remember when I woke up I let the person know I don't know who you're hanging with but God wants you to know your friends are not your friends these guys are going to bring you down if you keep hanging with them you've got to cut those ties because they are bad news and you don't know it yet okay so pay attention to your dreams you guys Check and see what God is saying to you. Now, if some of you are dreaming about a lot of water, doesn't necessarily mean tsunami or flood. If the water is peaceful and it's very nice and wavy and it's quiet and the day is bright and sunny and beautiful, that's a good indication of where you are spiritually. <laughs> Sometimes we ignore dreams. For example, what if you have a dream that your somebody in your in your family is in a very dangerous precarious position, hanging near a cliff, getting ready to fall off a ladder, whatever. Pay attention to those it may be God wanting through you, wanting them through you, that they are living on the edge. Pay attention to your dreams. You may be dreaming about, you know, you may be interested in some guy or interested in some young lady and, you know, you're really, really all excited because you think this could be the real thing, right? And you get excited. And God is saying, no, I don't think so. 
but because your hormones are hopping and your emotions are are in a needy state and you're you're so ready ready freddy for a relationship you start thinking oh that's the devil trying to discourage me no 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 you better listen listen to the signals that are going on inside most of the time that's how god talks to us and then if other people around you are confirming what you've already felt don't ignore it because you're needy <sighs> okay last day's warning pay attention to your dreams pay attention to conversations that people are saying around you pay attention god bless you